this is going to get exciting. You know? Because we're ending, we're, we're ending, yeah, okay. We're nearing the end of the Pokemon Sword Wonderlock. We're nearing the end of the game. This is getting exciting. You know, we're getting to the point of the game where it's going to make us or break us. If we can get past these parts of the game, I feel more confident fighting Leon. Of course, I don't. I'm still not going to feel confident fighting Leon because he's a... He is level 60s, but, <laughs> uh, you know, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, because, because I, it, it's essentially going to be Pelipper versus Charizard, which I'm not very confident in, because Charizard, even though weak against Pelipper, the typing wise, could still whoop his ass, but, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe something else by that time can contend against Charizard, we can use them instead. Or maybe Pelipper will just outspeed Charizard altogether and hopefully one-shot him. And if not, hopefully weaken him to the point that something else can come in and take out Charizard. But all of that is still a ways away because we still have quite a few things to do in between here and there. So that's what we're going to be starting on. I believe... Yeah. Uh, I believe we're going to be searching for... Uh, one of these macro cosmos guys, which I know for a fact is over here. Yep. Awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Oh yeah, watch this. Uh, am I talking to you? Uh, Miss Alina's here. Yeah, that chick that Joey simp for. She's here. Let's go. Our Pokemon you got Eric. <laughs> Macrocosmos is Eric. Oh, look at you. That is something that Bronzong cannot deal with. Seal. What we're going to do is we're going to switch. Uh, I could do Fuego. I guess Fuego is the only thing I could do here. It's the only viable mod to go against Galarian Meowth. Uh, I wonder why it's not a Berserker or something. Unless that is a Berserker. I don't think it is. I think it's just Meowth. So. Thank you, Arnie. God, you're such a good character. Such a good friend. Go, flamethrower, his Batuti. Kill him. Murder him dead. Let's go. We defeated Macrocosmos' Eric. That's the only Pokemon he had, correct? No, he didn't. Well, there ran. Really, a challenge for Fuego. We practically beat him. Flamethrower again should take care of this Durant. Get him out of our face. Be gone. Done. Dip. Let's go. Uh, let's move on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Okay, Rotom levels up to 48. We should get Rotom on par with everyone else before Leon, but we'll see what happens by that point. All I need to do is hide. Hopefully I remember where he went, because I, I didn't play this game, I played this game not too long ago, so hopefully I remember where this guy went, which I believe he's right here. How did you find me? I memorized the placements of the game, I memorized that you were here, right, and that you're the only, like, one of the only macro cosmos guys in the area, so it's also a, a pretty dead giveaway. And you like your steel types, apparently. Maybe you're after your chairman, huh? Fuego's got to come back in, take care, of some, take care of some business, mop the floor with this guy real quick, and then we can move on again. Fair. Does that sound fair to you, Eric? Hey, yo, I got a crunchy, man. It's not cool. Uh, feeling it, death. Yeah, let's go! Uh, power me up! Defense and special defense rose sharply. Well, that's gonna help. It's gonna make his already <laughs> not very effective hits going to do less damage. So it was good. I like having Marnie cheer for me. I ch I cheer for her too. Excadrill. Hey, yo, Pelipper, get up in here. Mess this fool up. Hopefully, Excadrill doesn't have. Pelipper is still weak to. Rock type moves, so hopefully Excadrill doesn't have any of those 
types of moves, and if he does, well, Pelipper hopefully doesn't die. Because, like I said, he's like one of our only chances at Charizard right now. <laughs> Boop! Alright. Super effective, opposing X could feel fainted. Moongus is level 57. We defeated Eric. I don't even switch up my, my pump up. Oh, my god! I don't even switch up my Pokemon while I was running. And no wonder my friend makes fun of that. Um. Okay. They say I had a tree in a forest. So I thought I could have myself a crowd of two people? That's some crowd. Well, I totally don't stand out. What the hell? Okay. Buddy, I think you need to work on your hide and seek skills. I, I think you failed. I think I don't think you grasped the concept of this game as a kid. Because hide and seek. The point is to hide and not be found. You hid in a phone booth. With windows. Some hiding spot. Man. Ah, <sighs> no wonder. No wonder you failed in life. Hey, yo. <laughs> now you can keep the beat going. You're the best, but she really is the best. Attack and special attack row sharply. Well, that's fantastic. One shot this dude from overkill him. Yes, overkill. Yes. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Some of these are minuscule experience points, and some of these are actually like top tier experience points. But. Flamethrower should kill, to be honest. What's to say? And if not, if he had, st if he had started and lived on one, I don't think Steelix was one shotting in Center Roar. Even with a super effective move, I don't think it was happening. Okay. Seems like he got me cornered, but I'm not gonna give up. An earful for Miss Alina is way worse than anything all Elok can do. Uh, because Onyx's attack is less than Oddish's. And unless Steelix gets a massive buff from evolving, <laughs> I don't think he's one shotting in Cinephor. <laughs> or unless Onyx's stats are buffed as well, as the gens went on. I don't know. I don't pay attention to Onyx. I don't use him. I don't use the long snake rock. Rock snake. <laughs> Look at these guys. These simps for the chairman and Alina. There it is, the elevator to where our destination lies. Why can't we just send out our Pokemon and have him, like, stomp the crap out of him? So this guy's gonna put on a concert? Okay. Where'd he pull that from? What the hell? Uh, must have fit in his bag. Because the bags in Pokemon are freaking magical. You can fit anything and everything in your bag. In 5th gen, you can fit a whole ass dragon skull in your bag. So, in your key items slot. So, if you can fit a skull in your bag, realistically, you can fit anything in there. I guess Piers is popular. Let's go! Nice job, Piers. Let's go! Let's go to the tower! Oh, that was bad. This is Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? Probably pretty tall. Tino's got their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and mess these fools up. Seems that exactly he hit the monorail key to try to impress the chairman. They keep the champion holed up inside. I wonder what he's plotting. Yeah. Alright, I believe. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's get this up. Let's get this takeover going. Well, that's a nice that's a nice flooring right there. I don't know if that's digital flowers or actual flowers underneath glass, but I like it. Okay. Well, that's certain is whether this can get us to the top. Uh-huh. You know, I know it's a kid's game, right? And it's, and it's Pokemon is kid-friendly, right? But in actuality, um, when these adults are trying to stop kids, literal children, from storming something or taking over something, why don't they just beat the crap out of them? You know, they're already evil, right? What do they care? Damn. Guessing these people like to steal pipes. Um, but like, what's stopping them from just kicking the crap out of us? Right? Like, <laughs> why don't they? Why don't adults ever just knock us out or kill us? You know, I know our Pokemon will be there to stop them, right? But at the same time, it's like. How do they try? They're adults that can easily overpower us. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that happens in actual canon. No idea. I mean, there were some episodes in the actual Pokemon anime where, like, they were threatened or whatever, wasn't there? Where kids almost died. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm sure there were. There are always dark episodes in children's anime or children's shows. Let's crack on. Let's go. So he just stepped aside for us. He just could have knocked us out. Like, unless he was that threatened by me and Hop. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't know how many battles we had to do here, but this is taking ages. That was a lot of floors we just went up. Without being stopped. And now these fools want to come out. Uh, I don't really care what you get to say. We're going to kick your butt anyway. Let's get this hop. Jane and Amadio. Let's go. I should really lead with Fuego. Shouldn't I? Even though Fuego is very strong. Um, it's almost level 60, but like, there's really nothing else I can do. All right, Fuego is my only option with these guys. I have nothing else that can beat Steel types. Body Slam. Dude. Hop, I think you need to learn your match type ups. That's scary. That's scary. I don't like how Qfant just dug underground. Uh, he might be going for double, but just in case he's not, I'm healing. Healing. Okay. He was going for double. Perfect. Perfect. Dude, they're just. It's just double teaming hop. Climb thrower on the Q fans. You see, that's what you should have been doing. Jeez. You think with all the times I kicked Hop's butt with a super effective move, he'd learn. Three moves in, three turns in, he finally uses a super effective move against these guys. What is his problem? Thorum's level 49. Bronze on with the safeguard. <laughs> Flamethrower you as well? Get you off of my screen. Off of my screen! Oh, we have to fight Alina up here, don't we, too? She just poison types. Which I have Gardevoir for, I guess. But is poison still super effective against her? Against Gardevoir? Part Psychic? I'm not sure. I don't know if that psychic part. Um, I think it does. I think I faced a poison type with her before, and 
and and it wasn't super effective and she didn't get one shot so I think she's fine I think she'd be fine but I don't know what are you looking at hop all right I'm gonna switch out for you again aren't I it's almost a thousand feet tall you're not about 500 feet above the ground I'm from NC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? What is that supposed to? What is that supposed to uh, imply there, bud? <laughs> you gonna kill me or something? Was a threat, Kevin? I got threatened by a dude named Kevin. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not bag. Fry girl isn't in my bag. <laughs> Send him out. Or her, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm gonna start firefanging. Firefang should one shot as well. I shouldn't have any problem with that. Oh, you paralyzed. Mawile. Good job, Pop. Shift gear. Mildly scary. As long as they actually go for a physical attacking move. Plenty of times in these games, the AI does something to up their stat, and then they use a move that goes up other stat. Wow, this double is getting effed up, dude. I mean, at least if Clang has 30, it's broke now, right? Yeah, Flare Blitz. I guess it was Flare, but it's not Fire I guess I... I guess I got rid of firefight <laughs> and didn't remember doing it. Okay. Uh, they just don't like hop. I don't know what it is. They just don't like hop. I mean, I'm down for it. I'm not the one getting attacked, but at the same time, it's like he's my partner. I want him to live. <laughs> As a distraction or as a way of getting at least an extra bit of chip damage off, you know? Still my partner. God of War is 57. Perfect. We defeat Kevin and whatever the other name was. The Catio or some crap? Or is that the last one? Uh, terrified of heights, but on an elevator 500 feet off the ground. Okay. I think we have a bit of a ways to go. Is Hop just like endlessly talking to me the entire time? I know I'm just not paying attention to him. But you're not even meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work in the high in the skies doing my job with the lofty macrocosmos air. Ah, I didn't ask, no one cares. Imagine that. Adeline and Justin. Oh, ground. Is that the ground type? Still ground. Okay, it's still not very effective. <laughs> Two. I guess... Pelipper is. But it's also part rock. Steal it. And I'm not confident. I think Quagro has more of a chance of living a hit. So that's what we're gonna do. Who are you body slamming? Steelix. Muddy water. That does pitiful damage. You should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. He's probably gonna go for the stun fist, because he likes to go back and forth. So we're going to hard focus on the Steelix, get that out of here. I feel more threatened by a Steelix than a Stunfisk in this situation. Even though both did absolutely pitiful damage. But. You know, pitiful. Pitiful. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh, lowering my accuracy? Wow. Why my accuracy? Why not hops? Why not doubles, huh? By my accuracy. 
doesn't matter anyway, because you're dead. But still, why my accuracy of all people? Right goes level 60. I feel like he's gonna be very on par with Leon's Pokemon by the time we're done with all of this and back into the tournament. He might be my big red button. Okay. I love that Hop heals my Pokemon after every single time and I don't have to do it myself, so I don't have to waste my own supplies. I waste Hops. Here we go. All of those floors, only three battles. Only six people came out to confront us. Maybe that's just how many people were bad. Anyway, before I battle Alina right here, I'm going to end the episode. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you, if, you, if you even made it this far. If you made it to the end, congrats. You're probably one of the only people that do. So, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I will say I have to catch you in the next video. Peace.